please bring him to us. In. Okay. What the heck is that thing? What's the matter? It's just a thing I pit. What the heck? No way, he's a human? Who is this guy? That's what I want to know, too. There was a flash of the light just a second ago, and now this guy's lying here. Where'd that humanoid creature go? I think this calls for a little investigation. I can't be. It can't be. That means. So he's really a human. Hey, Aki. Don't get too close to him. It's all right. He seems very weak. Someone call Dr. Elizabeth. Daisaka. Please take him to the infirmary. Why do I have to carry him? Apparently, you're probably the big guy. My, what an uproar that was. In the end, that monster turned out to be a human. I wonder what kind of technology he used. So, who or what was that guy exactly? We don't know. Yeah, we've got some questions we want to ask, too. I see. Hey, Chief Mechanic. Make sure to take the utmost care of maintaining my machine, all right? Just leave it to me. Let me see her. See her. Oh, is this a new model frame? The head's different, too, and the generators are so compact, and the plating. Why is it so It's as smooth as a baby's behind. Will you drop dead? But aren't our little Asta Asties the latest model? If they're already been made obsolete, that's kind of sad, actually. Simple misunderstanding. In the eight months since you disappeared, the Earth sphere has undergone a host of changes. It includes the appearance of a new alien threat, among other things. What? What? After we disappeared on Mars. How many months did you say? We lost all contact with you out eight months ago. Mars, eight months ago. It's been almost nine months since you departed from the moon. During that time, the war raged on without you. Why does it seem strange that they would roll out a new model asteroid in that meantime? But eight months, that can't be. That's right, how could that happen? Allow me to explain. When we entered the tulip, we observed photons on Bohar particles. Enlarging a boson from the moment, we'll, we'll refer to this phenomenon as boson jumping. The boson jump is capable of transporting mass through space, but it's dangerous to our bodies. The most obvious problem is that sending physical matter through space via the a tulip results in a jump that doesn't necessarily follow the flow of time. Oh, I see. Yeah, that must be it. The key was the crocus. Noel said the ship seemed to, like it had arrived on Mars a long time ago, and he was more right than we he knew. When it was swallowed up by the tulip back in the Earth sphere, the crocus arrived on Mars via a time axis situated long before we set out. Correct. Based on the three these facts, it's no wonder that Negesco entered Earth sphere eight months later. Hmm. Best to just leave the details to the researchers. What the heck? Oh, hello, Dr. Elizabeth. How is he? Still unconscious, to be perfectly honest. However, he's incredibly similar to an Earthling. Maybe he's a being from a similar situation to Edgy's. I just don't know what to do. Jeez, there's no, there's way too much we don't know anything about. Hello, everyone. Thanks for waiting. I've made contact with Nagarl HQ. Indeed, it appears that eight months have passed. During that time, the state of affairs in the Earth's sphere has changed significantly. The Plant Federation War still rages on. However, soon after Zaf began its surface landing operation, those aliens we just encountered appeared from nowhere. Since Zaft is splitting its resources to fight both these new aliens and the Jovian lizards, the war has reached a stalemate. At first, Zaft deployed neutron jammers, followed by their newest weapons, known as mobile suits. Their intention was to force surrender after gaining the upper hand. But alas, it was not it will not be. That definitely doesn't sound good. Why about the Gradosians? Of course, since we confirmed Gradosian forces mixed with the Jovian lizards in their plan to attack Earth, the warnings been passed along or all will warn the Federation. Planet anti Federation states, they must be in quite an uproar at the moment. I see, thank you very much. Naturally we didn't have much of a chance after listening to your tale after all. We're busy trying to suss out their invasion plans as we speak. Both the plants and the Federation are best beset by their own host of problems. However, it also seems that there's a group of individuals sowing hatred towards the coordinators, and their actions are already being to bear fruit. The shame, but it appears that asking the Earth to unite and battle the Cradosians as a whole is perhaps asking a little too much. That said, our fine company will do its best to assist. I believe in you. This is great, Edgy. You finally achieved a new goal. What a shock. So the Jovian lizards were nothing more than weapons. 
and the real enemy was hidden the entire time. Look, we needed another threat besides a plant war and the recent alien invasion. You may not have heard about it just yet, but those aliens have already made it to the Earth's surface. Those who evade interception buried deep underground and grow these bizarre foliage, you might say. There are entire forests of them down. Forests of the darn things. Since they're shown no immediate threat to humanity ever, we opt to let sleeping plants lie for the time being. Plants? Sounds creepy. Er, alright, we should also tell you about our current situation. Definitely, because of the dire circumstances across the Earth's sphere, Nergal has dropped its policy of neutrality and is openly assisting the Federation on a united front. And before I forget again, that means that Gesco has been incorporated to the UEFA. The details still need to go be sorted out, however. Federation, huh? Don't think that mean we'll be marching to the bet feet of total creeps? The crusty creeps? Colbert? For example, why the heck would we accept that? Are you even listening, dumb? Didn't you hear how messed up the Earth Seer is right now? The Federation and the plants are waging a war. There is no time for fellow humans to be fighting. Yeah, but we can't exactly do much about it at this point, right? Does that mean we're all soldiers now? No, no, not quite. Because we're just got back, we'll be only be assisting them for the time being. Mars. What about Mars? The Gojian army has conquered the entire planet. Do you actually think we could attack them again and triumph? Trying again now that there aren't any survivors is an entire futile gesture. That seems sound from the stretch you give point, but we're at war with them too then. If you don't like it, feel free to get off the ship. The contracts have changed, but the decision is still yours to make. Hey, wait a second, what about us? We only tag along to f as free agents, right? Indeed, since your original mission is over, you're all free to return to where you have discovered you came. Excellent work. Still, being tossed out here would be a real problem. We will do no such thing, of course. We will be heading to a neutral satellite colony, Heliopolis. First, to get some repairs done on the Negesco, you'll be able to arrange transport to Earth's surface from there. We depart Eastern Asia after that, and everyone has permission to stay on the ship until we get there. What a relief. Roger that. Um, I'm guessing Gundam Seed will happen there, and then, like, some sort of, uh, split. Because I'm guessing we're going to meet the Archangel, and since these guys are heading to Hong, Eastern Asia, we're going to run into G Gundam there if I stay with Negesco. I'm going to stay with the Negesco if there's a choice like that. Just saying. That's it, then. We'll stay here until we get to the surface. After that, we're returning to the Research Institute. What about you? I'll be jumping ship at Heliopolis. No joke, after all, I got into this mess to avoid getting captured by the UFA in the first place, didn't I? Why the heck would I want to keep going? Besides a war, those coordinators, there aren't humans like us. They're not like an aliens or the Kondosians. Yeah, tell me about it. I was just wondering what you're planning to do now. Bobby, are you serious? We've managed to get this far, so you and Grant Heat are safe. I hope you understand Orbs, a neutral co country, so I'm sure you'll be safe there. Wait, Bobby! Am I wrong? The UEFA will look into Grantied and the rest of you, so you're better off coming with me. There's nowhere else we can run now. That's true, but what about us? Mr. Triplet? It's not like I don't care what happens to you, but what I do now is that, if you do know, is that if you don't get off the ship with me, they're going to do all sorts of tests and stuff to you somehow. Well, I'm going, I've grown to like you three, I really don't want to part with you as if we were total strangers. I wish we could do more, but I don't worry about that. You'll be treated as part of the girl's staff, even if you're the army, present army under the army's command. They won't lay a finger on you. That's why you can rest easy, And but in exchange, I get stuck with the Negesco, fighting the U for the UFA. I don't see how it could be any worse. I'm not sure why you're causing such a commotion, but I just thought I could... I'd let you know that I hold a great deal of respect for you, or at least what I've heard about you. Aren't you the robot pilot who makes use of a peculiar control scene? What are you ta trying to... Sorry, kiddo, but Nergal had to submit that kind of data as part of the conditions for the ceasefire. You should probably just give up already. Nergal tried their hardest to hold on to your private information. The army insisted. I have to choose, then... Think of it however you like. That's just how the Earth fears right now. Remember... With great power comes great responsibility. Now they're quoting Spider-Man! They're quoting Spider-Man! 
Spider-Man! My friend, you have until we get to the Helios to think it over. We are now entering Helopolis Dock. The crew has permission to go ashore as soon as the captain finishes it. Anchoring the ship. For details, consult your commission communicators. Have a nice vacation, everyone. What? They're letting the crew go into the middle of repairs? What's the point of leaving us on a standby, then? Boy, that's cruel. Since this is a neutral ground, we don't have to worry about the Plant Federation War. But there's still the Gradosians and those other aliens to think about. The ground crew's day off has been grounded. <laughs> well, if we're getting permission to leave, let's make sure to paint the town red. Yeah, we just went through a lot, but now we can finally kick back and relax. We also left the moon as soon as we arrived. We didn't get to go shopping. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Anna, you come too. It's been months since we went shopping. I, I don't know if I can. If you're worried about Edgy, don't worry. He'll be fine. We have, we all have our mission, so just remember that we're in this together. Sayaka, don't tell me you're going to drag me along too. What are you talking about, Koji? Of course I am! Doctor, Aki, get ready to depart. Where are you guys going? To a branch of the OSDG. We haven't had a chance to report the events on Mars to the Chief. And there are some things he's sure to want to look into. We also need to get some information about the aliens. If it weren't for this, we'd be going shopping with you, of course. Sorry, but we have to work to do. The aliens, those guys we fought earlier. Just what were those things, anyway? For sure, we've got to discover their true intentions. Aki, just tell if, me if you want anything, and I'll be sure to buy it for you. Oh, my yes, thank you. Your lifesaver, Chizuru. Is that no? No, it's not Char. It's um. No, not Gundam. Wi not um. Gundam Wing either. Uh. Crescent. Cru Crucent. And Nergal's warship is docked. There's no mistake about it. Before the war broke out, the f they fought the UEFA and then headed for Mars. We discovered it was a missing after that fact. It's the warship equipped with phase transition engines. The guests go. They returned in one piece. Then it appears I truly am a unfortunate man. Hm. No, perhaps this is a stroke of good luck instead. Commander, I know that's a natural, natural ship, but aren't they hostile to the Federation? Nergal and the Federation have joined forces. Once it returns, the ship will probably join forces with the UEFA. Yes, the warship Nagesco is our enemy. So to go... Oh no. Oh, I thought it froze up again. To go to and return from Mars just like that, those naturals are certainly a frightful enemy. Something wrong, Athranzala? You seem troubled. That's a neutral colony. The Council's reply won't be slow to arrive, right? No, it will. I've already informed them of my plans. Besides, Orb was the one who broke the agreement in the first place. They're also the matter of what's inside Moniker 8, so much for a supposed neutral nation. If we leave them be, we may end up paying the price with our lives. But the citizens of Heliopolis will be... Huh. They're only paying for their own mistakes. They're the ones at fault. Nagal's worship Nagesco and the Federation's new mobile weapons. We must deal with them at once. Uh-oh. Well, guys, that does not look good, and it seems my guess might be correct. Well, I'll catch you next time. Ta-ta for now, and if you have any complaints about what I did, too bad. <laughs>